Well, in Chapter 2, we're going to look at managing Active Directory domain services. This is what we see and do on a day-to-day -day basis. These are Active Directory users and computers and Active Directory sites and services being the primary management utilities that you're going to use to control these areas. And there have been some changes in Windows Server 2008. Now we're going to start with the uh, FISMO roles or Flexible Single Master Operations roles. Here we don't have uh, much change. We need to understand what these roles are. They indicate that the domain controller is doing something special for your organization. Then we'll move on to managing sites and replication. Uh, again, not a great deal of change in Windows Server 2008, but we need to understand the function of sites uh, and how to control login traffic and replication uh, for your client computers. Then we'll move to read-only domain controllers. Uh, this is an, a new uh, capability in Windows Server 2008. We briefly mentioned in the last chapter, but we're going to talk about the management aspects uh, of the RODC role beyond just the installation, uh, exactly uh, what benefits it gives me, uh, and then the actual management steps for creating and, and monitoring these RODCs. We'll do the same with server core domain controllers. We've briefly mentioned it. Many times it gets uh, coupled with the RODC role and gives me a very secure method of deploying a domain controller to a branch office. But much of the administration of this is going to have to be done by uh, via the command line. So we need to walk through uh, some of the things, some of the management tasks that we would have to perform on the server core installation option. Then we'll look at group policy objects. Group policy represents a great capability for centralized administration on Active Directory networks. We have to understand how these objects are created, uh, how they're linked to Active Directory containers, and other various parts to uh, just the way in which GPOs work to enforce that centralized administration. The same capability of delegating Active Directory administrative control, we'll be looking at that. We'll also uh, walk through the process of restoring Active Directory uh, and, and yet another new feature in Windows Server 2008, the ability to stop and start the Active Directory domain services. So let's move first though and look at our flexible single master operations roles.